Welcome back, people. Um, straight from the jump, told you that I'm gonna get rid of a lot of players. Um, first team, how many did I get rid of? Harvey Barnes, Chowdhury, uh, Vardy, Chilwell, Andy King, Shamichael, Adrian Silva, Slimani, Gazal, and Mammy at the bottom. That's what almost almost ten players. Uh, made 116 million out of all of them. I think I was most proud of Harvey Barnes because I definitely would have sold him for 10 million. But they're willing to give me 22 million, which is fair. I'm not going to argue with that. Um, Vardy, unfortunately, I had to. It just had to happen. Um, yeah, it, it just had to happen. Um, like I said he, in the last episode, he's, he's 33 years old and his legs are going to start going, like his physical attributes are going to start, they're going to start fading out, they're going to start decreasing, so I thought, let me, let me get rid of him, as soon as I can, and I believe Southampton were the highest bidders, um, and it will go up to 17.25 million, I can't remember, I think if he scores a certain amount of goals, or has a certain amount of appearances, I can't remember, or if it's installments, but, I don't really mind, he's out of the team, um, Ben Chilwell, um, I didn't really want to sell him, but then I realised he didn't have a good season, and he's actually not as good as the game thinks he is. And thirty-three million, I'm always, I'm always gonna accept that. And I believe I bought in two replacements for him, which are Pedrosa from Espanol for ten million, which got up to twenty-two million. Um, so now Thomas, I'm not gonna pronounce his surname because that is a myth. Uh, Thomas is our new keeper um, going for 15 million I'll show you his stats uh, later on uh, Matthias Henrique from Gremio uh, he's a centre mid 10 million to 25 million um, I don't mind most of these uh, as you see all the deals they all kind of go up and um, they have to they basically have to have like seasons of a lifetime um, they have to be world class players for them for me to end up spending that money which I don't mind Max Ahrens I mentioned that I'm going to take players from the relegated teams and I needed a backup right back and I thought English why not uh, maybe I spent a bit too much on him but he's English and you know what English players are like Tonali I was chasing him in the first season um, happy I was able to bag him I'm going to skip this guy because I'm gassed I got him Richarlison he, I, feel, I feel like he'll start off as my main striker whilst Greenwood um, gains experience but I tried to sign Greenwood straight away and um, obviously they were quoting crazy prices but he wanted to come 60 million up to 130 million now I'm hoping that I I don't know I'm hoping I have a, a crazy season um, so now I'm comparing Thomas with Casper um, as you can see, he's 25 years old. I think Casper was in his 30s. I can't remember how old, but he's in his 30s. Can't quite see. But, um, yeah, I just feel like he's... I feel like he'll definitely end up being better than what he is, especially if I have good centre-backs. Uh, this is Pedrosa and Ben Chilwell. Um, you can see, like, there's not much of a... There's not much of a difference. Is it? They're almost they're almost similar. Um, just that um, Chilwell has better mental attributes and a few better technical attributes but I feel like it's not that much to notice the difference now uh, Tonali and Chowdhury um, again I was chasing um, Tonali and he's he's younger as well and he I've, in this game I believe he turns out to be a, a beast and I just wasn't using Chowdhury so I thought you know what, I might as well get rid of him give him a chance to have a career and have a team Greenwood and Vardy now Vardy is 33 years old Greenwood is 18 years old and look at the stats um, I'm guessed about this signing he's valued at 75 million I think he's on 90k a week or was that less can't quite see but um, I don't mind because he's definitely going to be getting a lot of game time and um, he's definitely going to catch up to Vardy on those on those attributes I believe uh, Mateo Henrique my new centre mid um, a bit of Brazilian magic you need at least one or two or three Brazilian players in your team to kind of jazz it up a bit now he needs to hurry up 
and learn English. That's the only thing that's kind of holding him back at the moment. Um, Max Aaron's his stats are actually his attributes are actually better than what I initially thought. Um, Richarlison, I'm hoping I can get him at his prime. So I'm hoping to kind of improve improve his potential. Sorry, his current ability. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to make him into like a class a class Premier League striker. I think if I could get 15 Prem goals out of him this season, I'll be I'll be happy. Um, at the moment, this is roughly what the, our starting eleven will look like, including the seven on the bench. Um, these signings kind of allows me to kind of ease Bellingham, Bellingham and Shirky and Justin and Benkovic to be fair into the team. Like they're all they're all really young, especially Shirky and Bellingham. They're all incredibly young. they're both incredibly young, and I realised that last season maybe I was kind of playing them. Um, yeah, maybe I was kind of playing them too much, like putting like a lot of pressure on them on them in um in big games, whereas I should have kind of eased them into the team. So maybe when we find better form or against easier teams, I could kind of start them. So signing having these signings and packing out the midfield. Um, especially the, the sentiment position, it would hopefully it will hopefully allow me to kind of ease them into the team and allow them to kind of focus on training and maybe I might let them play some under twenty three games every now and again to kind of get um to kind of get their form up and to kind of get their morale up as well. Instead of instead of just leaving them in the in the first team and not getting that much match experience and match sharpness. Um so yeah literally the season is about to start the next day i have leads um hopefully the next episode maybe i'll do maybe a five game actually no i'll do a 10 game a 10 game update unless something mad happens but i'm just hoping that this new team is the team that drags me into at least europa league at least i'd like to dream big and aim for champions league but um, with this new team, I think it's reasonable and sensible for me to for me to target the Europa League. But um, yeah, that's it. That's that's all for today.